Welcome back to the Northern Wisconsin Cornhole YouTube channel. I am ACL Pro Blake Karnick. Apologies for the hiatus the last few weeks on the page. Just haven't been able to get a video out, just things going on, Have, hasn't really worked out. But today we are back with another instructional video and I'm gonna be talking about how to get out of a slump in your cornhole game. I have a lot of people that come up to me and ask, how do we get out of a slump? How do I get back to where I know I can be? And there's a lot of steps to it. But I'm going to provide a couple tips today on how you can do that. First and foremost, I want to thank a couple of my sponsors for this upcoming season, Ultra Cornhole and Element Exteriors in Stillwater, Minnesota. So how to get out of a slump in your cornhole game? Let's get straight into it. All right, point number one I'm going to talk about and how to get out of a slump in your cornhole game is practicing by yourself. And practicing by yourself, I mean, I've talked about it before. I think it's very important to developing your game. It's just, you learn something, at least for me, I learn something new every time I practice by myself. And it's it's gotta be a focused practice too. It can't just be slinging bags down and back, nonstop going really fast. You have to think about your throw and your practice. When I go to like switch holios or a blind jar, even I'm practicing with a friend, I find it really hard to focus and develop my throw because I'm just socializing or focus on other things. When I'm by myself, I put some earbuds in, listen to music or a podcast or whatever, and it really helps me develop my throw more. Take a 10 there, but apologies for the audio, by the way. I'm in our college rec center right now and they got softball practice. There's people on the track, so I apologies. Apologies for any of the distractions that you may see, but back when it comes to practicing by yourself like i said it's just you learn so much when you're just on your own like every single time i come out here and it's the same with a lot of top pros too they'll tell you the same thing they're changing little things all the time and that just doesn't come out of the blue they would do that because they're learning about their throw because they're pro they're throwing by themselves and i think that's just so important to your game Let's see if i can airmail drag that it's possible See if I'm any good at the game. Oh, I got it, let's go. But yeah, just practicing by yourself and really taking your time and examining your throw, not like being super critical, but just slowing down, kind of finding your rhythm. It really helps you get your confidence back and get out of that slump in your game. On to point number two. All right, point number two I'm gonna discuss in getting out of your slump in your cornhole game is making the game easier for yourself. And this is kind of a practice example that some people can use. I kind of put a lane here for people to use. I put it down there too. But that's just kind of a way to kind of find your rhythm in an easier way. And you should practice like this for like a really long time. Just do it for a few rounds, maybe 10, 15 minutes, just to kind of find your rhythm a bit. For me, it helps just because I can extend out this way. I got a lane to look at. And after you do this for a little bit, you're going to put more in the hole. And obviously, if you're throwing them in the hole this way, that means you're doing something right. So when you take them away, it's still the same throw, if that makes if that makes sense. But just simplifying the game, building your confidence back. And that's another thing, too. I, we've talked about that in a previous video. But obviously, confidence is so important for being good in this game. And it's easier said than done to oh, I overshot that. It's easier said than done to get your confidence up in this game just because like you can be off by like a quarter of a second in your throw and then it's way right or way left. So this is just a way, especially for beginners too, but this is for anyone, even for beginners. So like just put, making the game easier for yourself in practice, focusing just on the basic mechanics, just really extending out. And even if I got a little help there, like, it builds my confidence and I still threw it down the middle. Whereas if it was a blank board and I was really struggling, I might be going off the back and wherever, and that really kills your confidence. So if you're really struggling in this game, just try simplifying it and practice a little bit. Like if you're struggling in basketball, just go for some layups and build, build your way up. If you're struggling, you shouldn't be just focusing on three pointers. And if you're golfing and sucking, you shouldn't be just hitting your driver all the time. You work your way up from the basics up to what you need to do. So that's kind of another way to just simplify the game, build your confidence back up. So that's step number two on to the final and third point. 
All right, the final step I'm going to talk about in getting out of a slump in your cornhole game is kind of a reference to a past video, but just building confidence and more so not being afraid. And obviously that's that's way easier said than to actually do. But for me, you're at your worst when you're playing scared and you're playing afraid. You have to kind of, and it comes through practicing by yourself too and the other steps build into this, but it's a mentality of just like, I'm not going to be afraid to miss this. If I miss this, oh well, move on to the next bag. You have, I've, I've been told this so much growing into this game. You just have to move on to the next bag. I'm sure everyone's kind of heard that too, but it's just so important. I'm going to see if I can roll the bag today. Let's go. But it's just so important to building out of your slump is just getting that confidence back and not being afraid to shoot shots. Like shooting, if you have an air, a good air mail or a good roll shot or a good push, you have to still shoot those shots. You can't just lay up on the board or else you're going to lose those games just by being scared. So those are, it's just so important to build your confidence. Like we've said so many times before on this channel, like it's just, and I know it's really hard. Like I still work on it. A lot of other pros work on it, but when I'm, I know now that when I'm struggling, one of the aspects of it is because I'm playing afraid or I'm just scared to throw my shot, even though, I put in the work and I know I can make it like right now I'm making my shots and I'm practicing well, but it's just getting over it from practice to a tournament. And obviously you have to have the same mindset in switch holios as well. You have to carry this mindset over from practice to your weekly blind draws to whatever tournaments you're playing at a local tournament or you're playing ACL, ACO tournaments. It's just so important to carry over that mindset of not being afraid and just having that confidence to shoot the shot that you know you can. Look at me, I made four roll shots. I don't do that ever in tournaments, but I'm not afraid right now. So it's easier said than done. I'm still working on it, but those are just three tips that hopefully help you to get out of your slump in your game. If you guys have any other questions or any tips for us, just leave it in the comments down below. Would appreciate if you guys subscribe and like the video as well. So I hope you guys got something out of this instructional video. We'll try to upload a bit more consistent here. My dad might be releasing a few podcast episodes. I'll try pumping out some more instructional videos. So thank you guys for tuning in. Again, thank you to my sponsors for this upcoming season, Ultra Cornhole, Element Exteriors. We'll see you guys in the next video.